everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. So we've got another panel here. This is the Flight Chops giveaway panel. I'm really excited to walk through all the different components on this panel, but more importantly, want to kind of back up about three months ago on where this whole thing started. So about three months ago, I took a trip from Chicago to Toronto, visited Flight Chops, and we built him out an entire IFR sim to help him with his IFR training that he was gonna be doing. And I featured the, the Real Sim Gear 430 unit, featured Keith from Pilot Edge, and a lot of different hardware. Our panel, Real Sim Gear Avionics, some Logitech components. Shortly after that, we made our way down to Florida to Flight Sim Expo in Orlando. And that was an awesome opportunity to see the enthusiasm of the community and just what this community is about. There's just a ton of really passionate people about all the different kind of hardware and met a lot of really great people and that was a lot of fun. And so from there we decided, hey, you know what? We're gonna do a Flight Chops giveaway panel featuring a lot of different vendors such as Pilot Edge, Stay Level Avionics, Real Sim Gear, X-Force PC to name a few and, uh, and had a great showing of uh, of the community coming together and providing providing hardware, right? Providing components, but something that would be very specialized to the winner, okay? And so uh, all the contestants subscribed and, and got in their entries and everything, and then we finally made a decision on the, the winner. And so the winner is in Canada, and the winner is actually the Bruce Brothers. And so uh, Aiden and Kieran, or Aiden and Kieran, they're, they're the winners of it. But they're up in Montreal, and, and more importantly, though, they're within an aviation community that's going to be able to use this panel to teach a lot of people how to learn how to, just the very early stages of learning how to fly. And kind of coupled with their, their giveaway Pilot Edge subscription, they'll be able to learn all the different kind of radio calls from a VFR perspective, and then also get into the IFR side of things, too. And so... Really, it's, uh, it's some great hardware. It's really practical for them, for their training, what they have in the, uh, the plane that they train in as well. I think it was a Piper, if I remember. But um, ultimately, you know, I just want to walk through the different components here on the, uh, on the panel. And you know, this is going to hopefully be the first of uh, multiple giveaways that we're able to do through Flight Chops. I think as, as more companies continue to come out with more hardware in this community, uh, we're going to be able to add compatibility with that hardware into Slavic's tabletop avionics panels and then be able to do some more giveaways to raise awareness. So really awesome collaboration. Had a ton of fun with Flight Shops. Uh, the Real Sim Gear team is awesome as usual. Uh, X-Force PC has been great. For Flight, everybody. Pilot Edge. Keith is just, um, you know, probably one of the most influential guys in this whole community. I mean, if you haven't checked out Pilot Edge, you, you got to look at it. It's, it's really awesome. So um, you know, really, here the six pack is being run by Remote Flight Cockpit HD. It's on a traditional 9.7 inch uh, iPad, something very simple, very easy to use. Uh, the Real Sim Gear GNS 530 unit here, very simple GPS. I uh, you got your COM1, NAV1, um, things like that. So we'll get through using that just a little bit. One of the really cool features of this panel, and this is the first time I've actually had the opportunity to really use it in person, is this GMA 350 audio panel. So switching between uh, COM1, COM2, and it's it's an awesome panel uh, to be able to do that. So we'll get into some examples about doing that and using that for uh, for like the ATIS and things like that. And then, uh, and then you've got your GFC 500 autopilot. Uh, then you've got a couple of Logitech panels here. One, the radio panel. And here you can, you can notice you can get down to squawking, you can change your transponder, things like that. So frequencies there. And then starting the aircraft, and then you've got your, your dual dual throttles here. So overall, it should be a great panel for them, for many others uh, to use as well. And, uh, and really, I just want to get into a demo of using this thing. I mean, this is a, a very comprehensive panel. I fly G1000, so this is a little different, right, flying steam gauge. Um, you know, but this, this audio panel and audio controller is just an absolutely awesome piece of kit to really take that realism to the next level. So... Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll get into the demo. I'm excited that you guys are here to just check this out really quick and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so hey, thank you for joining us for the demo here real quick. I've got my wireless keyboard that's got the built-in trackpad here. This is the, the uh, K400 in case anybody ever needs one, but I like to just keep that in my lap in case I need to access anything. Remember the whole goal here is to not have, to touch a keyboard. 
Okay, and so I want to expand on one thing with that. So this here is X-Plane, I think it's like 11.35. This is the default Cessna 172, the non-G1000. And so that plane, there was one thing that always frustrated me a little bit, and the GMA 350 audio controller relieves this frustration. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. So when you get into the plane, and let's say you boot up Pilot Edge, and you're sitting on a taxiway, you're gonna you know, get your ATIS information, right? You know, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, whatever it is. You're gonna get your wins, you're gonna get all your stuff. In order to, and let's say you do that on COM2, that's a pretty common thing to do. Uh, so COM2 is here. In order to turn on COM2, you actually had to go down into the plane and you had to actually physically push that COM2 button, okay? which is nothing like doing it in real life. You don't have a, a pointer in real life, okay? And so with this audio panel controller, you can just push or muni information Victor. And now I'm getting it. Zulu weather. Okay, now I'm getting my ATIS right there. So I, I didn't even have to come in and push a button, I, which means I don't have to use a keyboard and everything. So slight little side tangent, sorry about that, but this GMA 350 is an awesome little piece of kit. And if, if you're going with this steam gauge route, this is like a great steam gauge route. Okay, I fly G1000, so I'm used to G1000 and an audio controller in between the two. If you don't fly G1000, this is very, very comprehensive. You got an autopilot, you got all this stuff. So I'm gonna really show you guys how everything works, okay? Um, so, Let's assume we're on COM2, we got our, we got our information, we're done there. Um, we go over to, I'm gonna throw in a little plug here for four flight. But if I look at Aurora here, we can get our, uh, we get our ground frequency one to 1.7. So you can put all this stuff in here and we'd be on ground. And you could hear anybody on ground because we're on COM1. And then you could put in your tower 120.6 for your standby. And uh, then we got that, we go down here, so we're squawking 1200, okay. The nice thing here is if you see your frequencies here, 121.7 and 120.6, you also see them here. And when you switch them here, it switches them there. So I've talked about this before, but the thing I love about X-Plane is it literally, I put all the stuff in the panel, I loaded up X-Plane, I, I installed the real sim gear uh, installer Right? So there's no crazy dragging, dropping of files or anything. Everything just works out of the box. It's really, really nice. And, uh, and then this is being wirelessly run by, by an iPad. So finishing up. Aurora Muni information, Victor. Listen to this. 1800 Zulu weather. Wind calm. So I'll speed it up. The altimeter was 299 or 2. Well, fancy that. Standard. Standard pressure. So you can go to 299 or 2 with uh, this gauge over here. There we go. So two niner. There's two niner nine or seven. And there's two niner nine or two. So one other thing you can do to validate that, look at your altitude and see if that's about your field elevation. And if it is, then you're, you're about in a good position, right? So for that. So anyways, so we set all that stuff. Now we say we're at the taxiway here. We're now at the runway. And so we're gonna go ahead, we'll switch over to tower then. And we'll go ahead, I mean, obviously, we can already be started up, but we'll do that. And uh, I'm gonna put this over here. Well, another really nice thing here is, is hopefully you can see this. Uh, but basically, we're right here in ForeFlight, okay? So you can now learn ForeFlight on the ground, in the comfort of your own home, play around with breadcrumbs, whatever you want to do, and do that on the ground, okay? And then you can take that learning and you can then apply it in the air, okay? So just really great things that you can do. There's a lot you can do at home. It's really nice. And, uh, and so... If we just go flaps 10, we'll just take off here real quick. Give it a little right rudder.
And so the EFIS is all live here, standby is as well. So that's pretty slick on 55, so we'll, we'll take off there, climb out about 74 knots. And, uh, and that's, that's basically that. So 74 flaps up. Our altitude, all that. So uh, one thing I'm gonna do, I'll basically just kind of run a traffic pattern here. Should be something pretty simple, pretty standard. So one thing that's really slick here is as I'm changing around my autopilot, you can see on my horizontal situation indicator, my HSI, it's also moving everything here, okay? So really, really nice from that perspective. So if I turn on my autopilot, I have now should be locked on here. And I can now move my heading left and right, okay? There you go, boom. It's literally doing it all for me. Uh, uh, yes. I can go on VS here, I can go down, I can go up. Okay, I can uh, have it hold altitude right there. So it's gonna hold about 1900, I believe. What it should be holding there. It's gonna come back down here a little bit. And it should level off. So it's obviously a little bit different than the G1000, but basically, you know, a similar concept. Uh, you know, that's that's pretty pretty straightforward for how all this stuff works here. I mean, once again, you can get all your ADA stuff up here. If I were to look at Hey, uh, let me turn this down a little. Hopefully that's not too loud for the video. We'll find out, but you know, I could bring up like Julia VOR here. Uh, 112.3. And so I can see, so then this whole HSI deflects and we can make a turn to the left. We're now going to turn towards the Julia VOR. But assuming we didn't have all of our fancy four flight gizmos, you could solely do this off of the HSI here, right? And so we want to go and we want to get to the line and we want to line up the line. So we're going to fly to the line and do that. So uh, really neat from this perspective to, to have all this functionality here and do all this. Okay, so there is there is the traffic here. That's also right here on four flight. Okay. So I'm, I'm hoping maybe you guys can actually see this on the screen. But there is the actual traffic right there. Okay. So kind of neat to be able to see what's going on now. Look, guys, in real life, this is, you know, you're not having your face buried into an iPad or anything else, okay? Please be aware of that. So, this is solely just kind of showing the whole thing. So, um, we'll just blow past this guy here. Two mile final, runway two seven. There's four flight popping in two mile final.
All right, so there you go. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, guy was in the traffic's gonna have to go around. It's unfortunate, but uh, but there's that. So hopefully this was just a quick, good display of how everything works. Um, do you have any questions? Like I mentioned, definitely uh, feel free to reach out to us, shoot us an email. Um, and yeah, I mean, have fun guys, stay level, and uh, we'll see ya, bye bye. So we've got one more thing. So in the spirit of Apple Keynote, it says we get into the fall, September timing. Uh, basically, uh, this is our one more thing. Cirrus Perspective console, uh, this is the, the pedestal for the Cirrus Perspective, okay? So it's got the GCU 47, the real sim gear G, uh, um, what is it, GFC 700 autopilot, and then the GMA 350 audio controller. So all from real sim gear, real sim gear G1000, Logitech yoke, throttle, uh, a few different variations of this. We could do a virtual fly yoke, virtual fly TQ3 throttle. We could also do the honeycomb alpha um, yoke if we wanted to as well. So this is basically a modified model 10, okay, from the perspective of this pedestal, this whole, area is a lot wider and, uh, and then we have this whole custom pedestal here so basically uh, configuration guide and everything is all at realsimgear.com you know once again we just make the panel that houses all these components in terms of actually setting up the Cirrus uh, perspective package that's where uh, real sim gear they've got a great setup guide on their website if you just go ahead and google that and they can they can help you get all the avionics and the electronics working but uh, glad you guys were able to tune in for everything today a lot of fun stuff that we've been doing here over the summer and then as we get into fall and then uh, hopefully into the holiday season as well. So you guys stay good and uh, we'll see you. Stay low.